So, how about that Chris Thorndike? Hate him. Absolutely hate him. The f the fucker talks about how lonely he is because his mother is a fucking like a uh, super famous actress and his father's like the head of some company. Meanwhile, he has friends at his fucking school. Why can't he have them overs from time to time? Huh, Chris? Huh? <laughs> you, you live in a fucking mansion with Doc Brown for a grandpa and you're lonely? <laughs> and you have a ninja butler? <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you! I'm gonna go fast! Wait <laughs> into a wood chipper. <laughs> I guess you could say that's kind of what happened to uh, Sonic at first when he was designed for the movie. Oh, dear God. That's still nightmare fuel. I, I don't understand why they thought that was a good design. Oh, you I mean, granted, I thought it was going to be worse. Okay. Uh, I hope we're careful. Am I not always? Don't, don't answer that. I only be cups of sugar will like to get to the moon. Uh, too many. <sighs> <laughs> Damn it! Once again, I'm that freaking flower thing. What was I saying before? Fuck, oh, I fucking hell. Oh, yeah. The sound design, I, I honestly thought was going to be worse because I thought they were going to give him realistic hedgehog eyes, too. No. So it was cancerous, but it wasn't nearly as cancerous as I thought it was going to be. But it's still cancers, no less. Oh, God, yes. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was fun seeing that in the theaters, though, with Aeon. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, the Sonic movie was just so much fun. It, it's basically like a cheesy 90s film. I'm sorry, Riley? It's basically a cheesy 90s film, basically. Mm-hmm. And Jim Carrey was going full Jim Carrey. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. I I, I missed him going full Jim Carrey. <laughs> I missed my guy talking out of his butt and using weird voices and stretching his face in all different directions. I tell you that my two my two comedy idols are Jim Carrey and Robin Williams. Oh god. So. It's still yeah. like it's still painful hearing his name mentioned. I know he, like I said, he is the only celebrity whose death literally made me cry as soon as I heard it. I think everybody but, cried when they heard word about it. Yeah, he, he is still my comedy idol to this day. He's it still has my favorite quote: "We're all given a little a little spark of madness. If ah! we lose that, we're nothing." So I like to be as mad as possible. <laughs> okay, Joker, settle down. It's more being me being crazy, but Joker works too. Funny guy. Uh, oh, Golden, how much have you caught up on DuckTales? Ah, uh, I... I... I I'm still on season one. Oh. The furthest hey, have... that I can remember is when they were in this like haunted hotel and this like guy who holds the hotel was actually like the host of it everything, but he was like manipulating Scrooge to keep him trapped. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and um like apparently it was utilized with uh freaking uh Donald Duck to become like an idea of like Oh, that he was a good luck charm, but it was, uh, it bit him back in the ass. Oh, that's the, um, episode with, uh, Donald's lucky cousin. Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, the one with Mr. Uh, Peanut Butter from, uh, from Bojack Horseman, yeah. The voice of Mr. Peanut Butter. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't know that. Well, the more you know. Yeah, I think it was Keyframe who actually told me that. Oh. Well, uh, nice share of knowledge right there. 
Yeah. I'd rather just mention that the um, the cousin was voiced by the same guy who was in a uh, BoJack Horseman. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not forgiven. <laughs> do you guys have Disney Plus? Uh, sh actually, honey, do you have Disney Disney Plus, or is it shared from somebody else? I mean, I share it with uh, name and address withheld, but I do have Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah, I just got it myself. I still cool. have yet to like. If there's like. Hang on. Like, the original reason why I would ever, like, get involved with Disney Plus is just because of The Mandalorian. I, well, the, then the fourth season of Clone Wars. Or it's on, yeah, it's on there season. now because of theaters being closed. It was going to get on there. Onward was going to be on there anyway, but people should watch Onward. It's a good movie and it made me cry. Well, I'm sure it's good. Aww. It's from fucking Pixar. I'm not holding anything uh, against it. A, that's not a seal of quality these days. Oof. Yeah, not gonna lie. But uh, I, I liked on Onward. I didn't, I don't know. I liked it. I just wasn't blown away, I guess. I ended up liking the older brother a lot more than I expected to. Oh, was uh, he was voiced by... Um, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, yeah. Yeah. My boy, my husband. Excuse you? <laughs> Fuck you, what? Everyone has their celebrity wife and husband. You must have a celebrity that you want to be your wife. Not really. You're weird. How am I yeah. weird? What, you don't look at Black Widow or like fucking... You mean Scarlett Johansson? Yeah, you don't look at Scarlett Johansson you're like... Yeah, I smash. Uh, I'm trying to think who would be mine. Huh. Ah! No! Get back here. Golden Pratt. <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. Wow. No, somebody... That's what uh, Twist said in the yeah, show. Yeah, <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I just got Disney+. Plus. I finally gave in. Don't have HBO anymore, so I might as well... So I thought might as well I get Disney+. Plus. Do you still have Netflix? I still have Netflix and uh, Hulu. I, I, and I, I, but I lost uh, my HBO subscription with uh, the new Hulu account or new Hulu subscription. I still so. okay because I still have to uh, watch. Um, uh, what is it? Castlevania season three. Yeah, it should work now. Wait, let me see if I can do this. Oh wait, there's guys below me. Hang on, get out. Ah. Get over here. Come on, pop out. And... <laughs> There's a line from uh, Infinity Wars that I still love hearing. Uh, what was Which it? Which one? It's when uh, they're at a gun off. It's where um, Iron Man encounters a um, stealth. Oh. And he's uh, got Spider-Man. Yeah, I remember that scene. Yeah. Is it you from Earth? No, from, um... What was the state? Fuck. Missouri. Yeah, um, yeah Missouri. It's like, yeah, that's on Earth, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going in there. It's Missouri in there. <laughs> or put it on Disney Plus and didn't they like Mulan get delayed or something? Yeah. And there's actually yeah, a couple of movies that got delayed like Ghostbusters Afterlife uh, apparently that got delayed by like a year. I also heard that they're putting that Artemis Fowl film on Disney Plus. Which... Oh I've heard about that and I've been hearing a lot of negative lash like it's nothing like the book. I, I grew up on the books. I love the books. That film, just from the trailer alone, does looks not like capture a the... It just looks like a generic film. Yeah. Like, what? 
I wanted to know about this kid being a freaking like, astro ex uh, like a mastermind criminal. He, he's like, I mean, in the first book, he kidnaps uh, one of the fairies in order to ransom gold from him. I mean, mind you, he's doing it so they can get money to find his father, but still. Ah! He's a genius, but he's also morally questionable. Damn it. I mean, yes, he gets, like, he becomes a better person over time, but he is this devious mastermind of the character. And it... And he just he just became just some generic hero guy going to save his father, part of a secret organization type of shit. I'm like, that is not Artemis Fowl. Uh, that is Artemis Fowl in name alone. That gotta take it. those liberties because it makes some money. <sighs> yeah, it's not gonna I, I it's not it. gonna sit too well. No, nah, you, you, the I, a lot of Artemis Fowl fans are really. When they saw that second trailer, a lot of us were. Yeah, no, I looked at the comments and people were pissed. I'm like, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, like, I get some liberties and stuff, but when you completely change the personality of the character, that's when I have a problem. It's it's pretty much the, uh, the, the Resident Evil of book adaptations. Yeah. It's got the name, but it has nothing to do with it. Pretty much. I mean, at least, um, at least Piercy Jackson has Piercy Jackson in the movie. I thought a lot of people hated the Percy Jackson films. Yeah, they hated it because it had nothing to do with the book. Uh, I read the books. They were, they were decent. I only got up to the last Olympian, though. I haven't read any of the other spinoffs. 